all right guys and it's time for another review and this is uh, a follow-up sort of review really to uh, the other headset that I was sent from Anglink and this is it here I'm not sure how well we can see that but if you look there you can see you've got your power button there and your charging port just there now this particular one is actually uh, certainly about a about one and a half pounds dearer than the uh, the previous one that I uh, showed you and I think you know you get a little longer talk time as you'd expect it's bigger and that's it's sort of that's its only real downside to be honest um, you know it's it's all very easy to operate the power buttons straight on the back there um, you've got your rocker switch at the top there that's easier to use it's fully uh, rotational if I bring that in and show you so you can either ear that will go on and that's more directional as well your microphone which can be folded up up there or brought down sort of around that sort of angle you know that's that's a decent sort of angle for using it and it's 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 all very nice um ever so slightly heavier than the other one but not not so much that it's too heavy you know it's still perfectly light perfectly usable um, and the only thing I found with this one, really, is with me wearing glasses, it's difficult to one-handed fit, which I just can't really do with this particular one. And it's perfectly comfortable, you don't know it's there, but it's just that bit bulkier. And if you were wearing glasses, you might find that if you've got like a, a bigger sort of arm on your glasses, this might have a tendency to be sort of pushed off or whatever but other than that it's a perfectly perfectly great the sound quality on this one is much much better it's got a more rounded and a much deeper sort of sound as you can see I mean it's it's, it's a really sort of pleasant looking device you know it it, it, it mimics uh, most of the ones on the market really in a way and your answer button is just there it's not super clicky that one but it does click a little bit so you would just press that to answer or end a call and of course you can listen to music you know one press when there's nothing going on and you can start listening to the last track that was playing uh, double press uh, gives you um, last call that was made uh, power button on the back it's all it's all just very very easy to operate and it's actually a really nice device and like I say the sound quality is far superior uh, seven to eight hours from this one so you get about an hour longer for actual talk time and I think it's got about 160 hours of standby time something like that anyway so it's a really nice device um, it's it feels great it's just really well made nice construction and again like I say it's only I think it's about 14 pounds something this one something like that it's only about I think it's about one pound fifty dearer than the 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 cheaper model from the previous video um, Personally, I sort of I lean towards using the other one a bit more, to be honest, because it's just so much easier. It's sort of as I'm driving along, I can suddenly just say, "Oh, I want that," and I can just put it in my ear. Whereas with this one, I can't, and it is just that little bit more awkward and fiddly to fit. And like I say, with me wearing glasses, sometimes I've I've put it on and not realised that I haven't got it on properly, and the glasses have sort of pushed it out and it's left dangling and maybe even drops off. So. You would have to watch out for that, especially if you're a wearer of spectacles. But perfectly reasonable price, good value stuff. The sound is much richer on this one. So, you know, if you, if you like your sound a bit better, it's not as loud. But if you do like a, a much sort of good quality sound, then this would be the better one for you to go for. But again, I'll leave all the links below so you can check such things out. Big thank you to Anglink for sending it out for review. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers, guys. See ya.